Real Madrid win their opener and everyone looking quite good. It was all doom and gloom, wasn't it, in the lead up to this opening match. Eden Hazard, of course, adding more problems to Zidane. But it all works out. But right, we've got to start with Bale, don't we? Oh. Uh, yes, we do. And we were just talking off camera. There was a sprint down the right-hand side in the first half where he started maybe 10 yards behind his defender. And when he got moving, it's like somebody turned off the engine on the defender. <laughs> It, the athleticism, the speed, the movement, what he was able to do in the first goal. There was another run also late in the, se in the first half where he runs across, across that same defender and Benzema finds him with a through ball, end up, ends up getting a shot on goal, good save by the goalkeeper. And you just see the many ways in which Gareth Bale can impact the game. So this version of Gareth Bale would have a place in my team every single mm. day. Every single day. The problem is, one, we don't get this version all the time. Two... He's not available all the time. And three, Zinedine Zidane is the guy making the decisions. And it's almost as if Zidane is looking for reasons not to have Bale on the field rather than to have him. But this version of Bale is decisive, is impactful, and is a difference maker for Real Madrid. But he did have other options today. It wasn't as if Bale was just completely the last man mm. standing in the dressing room. There were others that have come in, that could come in. Lucas Vasquez, well, for think, example. There's two things. Zidane isn't stupid enough to cut his own nose off when he has somebody like Bale who can, do, who can do what he can do and what he showed in this game. But I think the most important thing to remember here is how professional is Gareth Bale? Gareth Bale's had virtually no pre-season. He's been getting slagged about his attitude. Yep. He's been but by us here in the slagged. studio as well, yeah? Yeah, he's been getting slagged about being on the golf course. But there's one thing he's done. He's made sure that if he ever got a sniff, he was going to be ready for it. That is ultra-professional. Because there's another guy way over in France who I bet he's doing the opposite. He'll be out partying and enjoying himself. Gareth Bale absolutely showed you what he's all about with this performance. I, I, the question I would ask about Gareth Bale is, can it and will it last? Right. And that's up to Zidane, isn't it? To manage well, it, well him? It's, up, it's up to both because Bale, sure. Bale has to stay fit yep. and, and, and he has to be able to be on the, on the field because when he's on the field at this level, as I just said, he's decisive. The other thing that is important here is can Bale keep up that level of intensity and anger? Almost as if, as if he was proving a point today. If he's able to do that and continues to play this way, then you're cooking if you're Real Madrid. Now you're dancing because... Eden Hazard is going to come back at some point. Eden Hazard down the left, Gareth Bale down the right, playing like this, Benzema scoring goals. You like, wait a minute, now it's a different story. But you have to ask that question. Can it last and will it last? That's the question. I'll tell you what. If I, Zinedine Zidane is going yep, to go whoever to bed. Whoever he is. His name, whoever he <laughs> is. He's going to go to bed tonight thinking exactly that. Do I play Bale on the right and sit Vinicius? Who's actually producing here? Who's going to give me something here? Right. And... Until that stops, until mm. that type of performance stops, then you have to play him. Because regardless of what you really want to do, you're going to look stupid if you're man of the match. Next time they step on the field, is sitting on the bench and things don't quite work out. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.